Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are back here on day four of CES 2016 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. We are at the eHang booth, and we have uh, Colby Johnson. He is the project specialist for the company, and he's going to go over the brand new Ghost Drone 2. So last year you had the Ghost Drone 1, and now you have the Ghost Drone 2 here at CES 2016. Uh, can you uh, tell us more about this um, model here? Yeah, you bet. Uh, this is our newest drone. Uh, from the 1.0, we completely redesigned the flight control system. We added some more features in the app, and uh, we made a, a much more superior product. It's much safer to fly and use, and uh, really our vision with the Ghost Drone 2.0 was to create something that anyone can fly. And one thing I noticed um, in your display here at eHang, uh, there, there are no remote controls. Everything is controlled by your phone? That's correct, yeah. Uh, you know, learning how to use a radio control can be a little daunting for some people. And uh, this is a smartphone controlled drone. It simply mimics the motion of your smartphone. And what other features do you have here with the camera? Yeah, uh, just to touch on the camera here, this is a 4K camera, it's our own proprietary camera. We also offer a version that comes with a gimbal that will accept any uh, GoPro Hero 3 or 4, so if you have a GoPro camera you can use that. Uh, and then we have the basic model, it doesn't come with anything, and, and just to get you flying. And what uh, flight time are we looking at? We're looking at about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on what you're doing. The recharge time's about 60 minutes, uh, extra batteries around $90. Any other features you have with this drone? Yeah, of course. Uh, the uh, flight modes you get inside the app, you get manual mode, which is a more, uh, I, I guess you could say, unlocked flight mode. It lets you control the drone more. You can fly up to around 30 miles an hour in that mode. You have a waypoints mode. Uh, if you don't want to fly it at all and you just want to tell it where to go, you can use our app. It has a kind of a Google map interface and you can just touch on the map and the drone will fly there. And then also, of course, the avatar mode, that's kind of our flagship flight mode. And you just simply move your phone in the direction you want the drone to fly and it mimics it very precisely. It's very accurate. Very nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the app, that's, uh, is it only, is it for Android and iOS? That's correct, Android and iOS. It's available right now, yeah. And what's the uh, price and availability on this drone? Yeah, the Ghost Drone Basic and the Aerial, that's the GoPro version, is available now. You can buy that off Amazon. Uh, the Ghost Drone 4K, uh, the Aerial Plus 4K version and the VR goggle version, uh, that's going to be available in, in February. Oh, so there is a VR uh, VR uh, goggle version. Right, right. The uh, VR goggles are really cool. They allow you to see exactly what the Ghost Drone's seeing at all times. Uh, we use a 5.8 analog signal, so there's zero latency. Uh, the, the goggles are around 720 quality, and they have head tracking as well. So when you move your head up and down, the camera follows your head motion. Nice. Yeah, really cool. Offers a fully immersive flying experience. The, you know, the head tracking combined with the motion control, it's really cool. So uh, how, how about the uh, price? Price points are going to be $599 for the basic. The aerial version, that's the GoPro version, is right around $799. Uh, the 4K option is $999, and then the 4K with the VR goggles is $1299. Yeah. And I also noticed the, um, you have uh, different looks here with, yeah. the, uh, with the, these two drones back here. Right, right. So uh, in each box, we also ship with uh, uh, propeller guards. Uh, so if you're flying maybe around some close quarters or obstacles, it's always nice to have the propeller guards on there. But you can fly without the propeller guards as well. Uh, it offers a little bit more speed and uh, you don't get affected by the wind so much without the propeller guards on. Well, thank you, Colby. Yeah, you're welcome.